Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our afternoon session. And for those watching on Big 12 Now on ESPN Plus, I am Missy Heydrich, and now joined by the contingent from BYU. Welcome to all of you to Kansas City and to the Big 12 basketball tip off. This is a group 16 and 17 overall a year ago, nine play here with us amber whiting second year head coach of the cougars and three student athletes senior guard kaylee smiler senior forward lauren gustin and junior guard nani falatea did i do that right thank you <laughs> you were about the first one that's only for a loop today so i feel okay i'm doing all right i'm batting a thousand right now <laughs> um coach i'm going to start with you uh last year this was it was your first year it's division one coach you go to BYU, and now that you're entering year two, a lot of big changes, new conference, new look, new everything. What did you take from year one at the helm of the Cougar program and kind of looking at year two and what you wanted to do and where you want to go next? Um, I think last year I was, I mean, I got the job kind of late in the season, recruiting season right in May. Um, but I felt like I was drinking from a fire hose all year. <laughs> and I feel like now everything's kind of in place. Everything's been changed how we need to. Um, and so now it's just about the details and bringing in what uh, we see our, our vision being and my vision being. And so my um, assistants have done a really good job this year of doing that. And so I just feel like we've become better this year and more, more chemistry, more everything on the court, off the court. So it's been really good. And that on and off the court is the biggest piece of the puzzle, it seems. And so one of the buzzwords that's talked a lot about in college athletics is culture. So for you in establishing that and what you want the culture and the identity of this program to be, did you get glimpses of it last year that you build upon and head into this year? Yeah, I believe, and I try to talk to my women all the time about faith over fear. And to, if we do all the preparation, there should not be any fear, right? And you're just going into, like, going into the games, going into battle, going into anything in life. And so I try to have that instilled in them. And so I think this year, like just the way they play, the way they carry themselves, I see that a lot more in them. There's a strong tradition of success for BYU women's, BYU women's basketball. Um, always been part of the national landscape, the NCAA tournament for a long time. But also for those that have been around the game, it's a tradition of people getting the trenches, hardworking, get to grind out a game if you have to. Um, so for those of us in Big 12 country that haven't watched BYU that much, what will people see from your team when they get on the floor this year? Um, defense for sure and they laugh but that's like where we start um but if we're we're the type of team they're blue collar kids they just want to stick their nose in and do the work um and so i feel like they're going to see us outwork a lot of people just because that's who we are um diving on the floor for balls or doing things you know but then off the court i feel like they're service oriented so we'll they'll see a lot of that coming from my women outside and and they carry themselves that way so yeah um, for those of you in the media, our friends here, if you do have a question, please raise your hand and we will get a microphone over to you. With that said, I have some questions for the student athletes here. Nani, I'm going to start with you. Um, started all 32 games a year ago, led this team with 149 assists. Um, you return a lot of players from last year, but you've got new faces as well. So as your role as a point guard, as a leader on the floor, you kind of got to get all of those pieces of the puzzle fitting together. How's that been going in fall practice? and what has been the vibe in practice these first few weeks? I think it's been going really well. Um, I think with the new girls coming in, they've made it really easy to involve them in everything. They are the type of kids that just want to work and want to participate and they want to do their job. And they do a really good job of doing that. And the vibe has been good. I mean, it's been super intense and it's been like every single day we get after it. And I think that's been such a huge thing like for all of us is that every single day we come to compete and we come to get better that competitive nature I'd ask you because coach said it's about defense a little bit which you know nobody likes to do defensive <laughs> drills so I'm assuming that that's a lot of high level competition in those defensive drills in practice yeah for sure I mean we all get after it and like every day even if we're working on offense that day we huddle together as a team and we talk like it doesn't matter that we're working on offense right now as soon as we go on defense the energy can't drop we can't lack in focus there we have to keep it the energy high especially on that end Lauren, the next couple questions are for you. Uh, one of the top rebounders, actually the top rebounder in the country a year ago, almost 17 a game, which is an amazing number, and the West Coast Conference Co-Defensive Player of the Year. I know you made the decision to come back to BYU this year. What went into that, and what were some of those deciding factors for you? Uh, yeah, um, you know, being a, a grad athlete at that point, 
Um, you know, I felt like I had the opportunity to be able to go and, you know, explore another option. Um, it was tough, but uh, coming back to BYU was, you know, the best decision that I've made. Um, not only is there a great coaching staff, but there's great girls, and it's a great culture, kind of like what you had talked about. Um, so coming back, I'm very, very happy with it, and uh, it was it was a good decision. So Awesome. Um, anyone who pays attention to the women's game knows how good of a rebounder and defender that you are. Um, what do you think it is maybe about your game and your personality that goes into being such a tough rebounder? Because not everybody wants to do it. <laughs> Um, I would just say uh, being resilient and uh, aggressive, that's something that, um, you know, I've always loved to do. And growing up, I grew up in a really competitive household, and um, it was kind of like you always had to compete to kind of get acknowledged or really a lot of things. So um, just having that, you know, be a big part of, of my game, but also just having coaches and teammates that, you know, push me on and off the court and having a coach that trusts in me and confides in me and um, pushes me on the court every day kind of gets me going too, so. Well, I guess we can, this goes back to home, and then we know that that's where that competitive nature comes from. You're not going to let any loose balls go. That's her. Um, Kaylee, 28 starts last season, 45% from three-point range with the shooter mentality. There's a lot of changes on your campus this year with the move for BYU to the Big 12, new travel destinations, new opponents, all of that. What has been, I'll use that word vibe again, what's kind of been the vibe around your athletic department, around other programs, you know, football, volleyball, soccer playing this fall? Does that get you guys excited thinking about what's ahead for your women's basketball season? To join the Big 12? Yes. I mean, we're the university that's furthest away from all the other universities. And the question that we get asked a lot is, you know, man, that's a long travel schedule. You're going to have to go out there and we have to kind of stay out there to play games and come back. But going to BYU, not only are we all involved about athletics, we're also about our education. And so we've been planning. We've been doing these things. And so I don't feel like the multitasking and going into Big 12, we're prepared for it across all sports. If you have been watching the sports with soccer, with volleyball, we're, we're going great, and we want to add and contribute to that as well. For you on the floor, as I said, 45% from three a year ago, what is it about the system and what you find? You've got great people trying to get getting you open shots and rebounds and good assists here, but what is it about this system offensively at BYU that gives shooters a green light? I think it all goes back to the coaches. They trust us enough to give me those open looks. I will say... There's only going to be about, you know, two star players on a team and then the rest, the majority, 90% of your team is going to have to play a role. And it doesn't matter what that role is. Everyone has to do it in order for your team to win. So it's always about those team wins. And I understand my role. I have to lead and be a captain, but I also have to make those shots. So I don't need to be the playmaker. I don't need to be the leading rebound in the nation. We got that already. So if my job is to hit those shots, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Coach, one last one for you. We said it: new destinations, new opponents. Um, how did you look at your non-conference schedule, thinking about what you needed to do to prepare for not only your second year as a head coach, but headed into this Big 12? Um, I think we did a good job of mixing it up between some really good challenges on the road um, and then some really good challenges at home because you have to be prepared. We're going to play the best of the best every night. So we wanted to prepare our women for that, and so that's why we, where we went with our schedule. Fantastic. Well, welcome to Kansas City. Welcome to the Big 12 to all of you. We wish you the very best of luck the rest of the season. We'll be back in just a few minutes with the coaches and student athletes from Oklahoma State.